Your boy's been working out in the sun for a bit long. Look at these glove hands. Jesus. Hello everyone, my name is Bait. Hope you're all having a great day. Uh, today, I'm going to be taking a look at some of the brand new Death Group merchandise that came with their new tour. And before you ask, no, I was not able to see them. For some reason, they decided to do a tour in Scotland, Manchester, but not London. So, due to time and all that type of shit, transportation, blah blah blah, I was not able to go see them. I don't know why they didn't come to London. For some reason, they literally went everywhere else but London. I don't get it. Anyway, <laughs> with the new tour comes new merchandise. I have a couple bits that I picked up from the Hello Merch site, uh, as well as some other bits of Death Grips merchandise that I just have that I haven't shown you guys yet. And, um, you know, I feel like it's my duty to... Uh, to make a video about more Death Grip stuff, seeing as you guys love it, you know? I'm here to pleasure you guys. No homo. So with that being said, let's get into the brand new Death Grips tour merchandise, uh, as well as some other CDs and other merchandise as well. So the first piece I have is this. This is the Come Up and Get Me t-shirt, where it has, um, it says, it says Death Grips there in this crazy looking, almost like graffiti font. And you got MC Ride, or sorry, Ride, just there, wearing a jacket, uh, shaking. It reminds me a little bit of the Death Classic music video where he's just sort of jumping around and just being fucking crazy in front of the camera. Uh, there's nothing on the back there. Sorry about that. <laughs> I thought they were going to put something on the back. They're usually, they're usually pretty clever with their uh, their merch, but there's nothing on the back of this one. Uh, it's just Ride there. Death Grips one. I guess pretty low-key, I guess. I mean, if you saw some words, you'd probably think, what the fuck is that? But um, I picked this up. I thought it looks pretty good. Uh, so there's the Come Up and Get Me t-shirt. And the next piece that I got from their tour was something that when I saw, I couldn't believe and I knew I had to pick them up. Uh, <laughs> it's the Suck My Dick socks. Come on. Everyone wanted a pair of these. Uh, these were worn on the... Uh, it, was on, it was on an alternate cover of the No Love Deep Web uh, album cover. And it's just a pair of white socks. Long. They're quite long socks as well. They just say suck my dick on them, one side there, one side there, and yeah, for the, for the other sock, it's the exact same, it just says, suck my dick. Um, now you're probably wondering, why the fuck did you buy these bait? Um, and it's just, I don't know, funny, I guess. I mean, I knew I was, when I bought these, I was gonna have to show them off in a video eventually. Uh, wow, look at your boy, ooh, your boy just folded those socks up pretty well, like that. Uh, but yeah, I, um, I mean, they're funny, they're pretty overpriced, I can't lie. Um, but the quality of them is surprisingly good. I thought they were going to be cheap. I thought they were going to be sort of the uh, cheap polyester type of um, material where they're much easier to print on. But when you wear them, they're very slippery and thin and they sh they're really shit. They make your feet sweat as well. Not good. But these are, no, these are nice cotton with uh, some elastane. I believe it's called elastane. Elast it's elastic, you know. Uh, and yeah, suck my dick right there. These aren't printed on either. These are actually, as you can see, they're woven in properly so good quality socks good quality suck my dick socks and that was it from what i could get from the tour there were some other bits there was a dalmatian hoodie as well but uh that one sold out um in my size so i wasn't able to pick it up um but i do have some other bits i picked up from hello merch uh, just recently the first piece being this the iconic death classic t-shirt where it says death classic and yeah there's right there whoopsie uh this t-shirt is actually, it makes an appearance in the I've Seen Footage music video as well when they're designing the merchandise and, you know, how the, the whole video is just a fucking slideshow of a shit ton of images and it shows them doing the Death Classic t-shirt. This is probably one of the most iconic, uh, you know, Death Grips pieces they have. They have this in black and they also have it in white as well, but I went with the black just because I think it looks, personally, I just think it looks a little bit better on the black and um, as you've probably you can see a pattern in my YouTube videos where I pretty much all I wear is black t-shirts as well. <laughs> but, uh, there you go. Death Classic. Uh, same as the other one, there's nothing on the back. But, uh, a nice t-shirt nonetheless. And here's the part where I surprised you guys, because I actually did pick up a white t-shirt. This is the Demolition t-shirt here. I really like the design of this one. This is probably, it's probably got to be my personal favourite of their merch. Uh, Demolition there. Demolition Death Grips. And even has the Third World uh, snake logo on the front there. Um, doesn't have anything on the arms, but on the back as well, it looks really nice with that. Number one, big hit to the, uh, stereocilia? The fuck does that say? Um, and clean up. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, something about it, it's just it's got a really nice design to it. It reminds me a lot of, um, like, motocross jerseys as well, which I really like the style of. 
And this one is just really eye-popping as well. I don't know if you can... I think you can get this in black, but I got it in white just because it really makes the colours just sort of pop out. So that's all the Death Grips uh, apparel that I've collected. Um, but one thing I did decide to get were the Death Grip CDs. Because these just sort of sit around on Amazon, and I'm not usually a big CD guy. But I thought I'd buy these nonetheless just to show some support to the group. And I used to do a thing with Gorillaz and Tyler Creator Rec um albums where if I liked the album a lot I'd just get it on like all sort of platforms like whether that be vinyl cassette and CD so let's have a look through these so first we have the money store there's the front cover of it there's the back cover I won't show you know I won't go through it a shit ton because it's pretty basic I feel like a lot of you guys have seen this as well here's the CD there and then there's the book. Actually, let's have a look through the booklet. Fuck it. Why not? So this is just... I thought there was going to be artwork in there. It's not. It's just the uh, song lyrics. It's just it's just the song lyrics. Next is The Powers That Be. This one comes in uh, almost like a gatefold like record. Uh, and it comes, obviously, because The Powers That Be is, is two sides. So you have um, N-Words on the Moon on this side. There's a CD there. Uh, oh, and there, oh, okay, and Jenny Death is there, sorry, I just realised there's uh, some other sides to it as well, CD there, and from what I just saw, I think there is, yeah, a little booklet inside of each uh, side, so let's have a look through those, so here's the booklet, pretty interesting, okay, yeah, these are the song uh, lyrics as well, that is, for, what the fuck is that, is that the, um, is that the car? Like the uh, parking camera, because it reminds me a lot of the Double Helix video. Is it Double Helix? Yeah, Double Helix video. And uh, yeah, I think it is. <laughs> so pictures there again, song lyrics there, and then you've got this image on the back, and then on the Jenny Death side, you have the <laughs> fucking hell. I can't look at this picture now because there's so many fucking memes that they did of um, on GP. There's the on GP room. Uh, on the back of it, you've got neon lights. Is that like a? I think that's almost like a panorama of a, of a city there. And inside, yeah, there, there they are. You have the more song lyrics here. I think all the pictures are just of on GP there. I mean, why not? It's the most like it's an iconic track. Am I right? Next is bottomless pit. There's the front. There's the back, and on the inside, there's the CD. I like the design of that CD. I think it goes really well with, uh, you know, just see I have the album cover there. Let's have a look through the little booklet as well. And inside, you have, again, its lyrics on this sort of blood red color with gray text. I don't think there's anything special in this. It's just, just the lyrics. And lastly, we have Year of the Snitch. Uh, I bought this brand new, and I was kind of annoyed because there's already a scratch on it. Um, it was in, like, plastic... Uh, film. I don't know why there's a scratch on it. It wasn't me, I promise. Uh, there's the back of it as well. And opening this up, it's very, very similar to the vinyl that we that we had a look at. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a I'll leave a card for that um, in the corner. And also, or I'll leave a little I'll leave a link to a Death Grips playlist, whatever, down below as well. And here is the CD. Whoop! Oh, my God. Ah, I don't want to get my fingerprints on it. Death Grips, Year of the Snitch. Yeah, it's a brand new CD. I quite like that. It's very um, basic, minimalist, if you will. And there we go. There's all the Death Grips pieces I've collected thus far of my collection. If you want to see more items that I've uh, sort of unboxed and have a look through on my channel, uh, I'll leave a card for it. Oh, and uh, in the description, I'll leave some videos as well to be check out. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.